Hello there, just another little update on the Zynga. I've started taking just a few little bits off, ready to give it all uh, a jet wash. Uh, not long took the air box off. I've just put myself a cut up a latex glove and uh, a cable tie around it. I took the fuel tank off as well just put an old bit of bit of line on with a screw in the end just to block that off uh, air box had that off I might take the oil tank I don't know that might just clean up while I'm there but I might uh, I might still do it and then get some you see I don't know what two stroke oils in there um, but looking over a few forums they do say if you can get two stroke injector oil for these so i might uh might take it off drain it and then pick myself a bottle up get that in there uh up on taking a few bits off i noticed that on the top of the the back part of the drive here this light little white nut thing here there's a there's a line that comes off that and it runs up through the bike and then it goes into into the frame there and same as there was one off the that black one there that was running up into there as well that comes off the, the side of the engine i can't really access that um to actually take that off but i was in touch with me my uncle and he believes that they uh they are breathers but the actual state inside there is terrible so i know you can't really see it that well but one sec, let me grab my torch. One second. Where is that? I don't know, in that is bad. In there, you run your finger in there and it just comes out soaking wet full of grime. So I don't really want any of that going back down the pipes. So I'll give that a good clean out as well tomorrow when I get the jet wash out. Uh, upon taking the air box off I found some rattling inside and I believe if I'm right if you look at that hole in the bottom it's uh, more than likely to drain drain any mixture that's come through into there uh, from the carb and that look looks brand new it's done as though it's ever been put in there I think it's the most brand new thing that's on the on the old bike for, for how old it is, 1986. But we'll get a new piece of foam as well for it. But I don't know how old this one is, but it does still work. But I might end up just getting a new one. And there's the fuel tank. We'll end up giving that a good clean up. Give it all a clean inside. But apart from that, that's about it. We're just getting ready to uh, get it jet washed then now tomorrow. The exhaust, I've been in touch with my uncle and Chucky Honda, if you check him out on YouTube. Uh, he's got some wicked videos, the, uh, but he's going to help me. Or should I say, he's going to show me how to clean up the, clean up the exhaust um, with the tools, what he's got, which is a, which is a bonus. I've just got to get myself over to him. Uh, and I managed to find earlier on Alibaba whether they would be any good. They're, they're only about seven or eight quid, I think, cars, but these little mufflers on here but i think just after a good clean up take uh take this nut out off the right i think i could take that out and that might slide out give it all a good clean out um again looking on a few forums there's been people that are having odd issues and that with them where they're bugging and uh they've noticed that after sort of going through a few things they've took the exhaust off and just the big uh, big amount of carbon build up inside Give it a bit of a clean out, and once it's back on, they're, uh, they're saying that they're flying along. Um, but we'll soon see anyway. I haven't really done anything with the plastics. They're still as they are. Should, really, I should have should have, should have continued uh, stripping them off, but there's nothing major with that, I don't think, at the moment. I just want to get it sort of... Uh, just looking a little bit better condition than, than what it is at the moment. Um... That's about it though really, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned.